Oh my god, Spyro, Doomfist, he's here, it's happening, shall we watch the trailer and then discuss it? Man, two videos in one day, aren't you lucky? Don't worry, there'll be a reason for my tone momentarily, I'll shut up for a minute. Let's put it on the screen and let's turn it down a little bit because that's loud. Conflict and war is the crucible in which we evolve. Those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. And there's the in-game model. So yeah, that's that's the video. Oh, there we go. It's just ended. So that's the video. So I guess it's time we analysed. Uh, I don't have any um, Overwatch footage to go with this. So you know what? It seems we're on the desktop. Let's just open this. So yeah, that's that's the. <laughs> at least it'll be something like. How dare you, you fucking heathen! You traitor, play, playing the rival, you, playing the rival while talking about this, you fucking traitor. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it really doesn't matter for a moment because um, I've already got a video uploading if we are to... Uh, bring up my my uploads here. I have done the Splatoon 2 uh, Direct I reacted to it. I had to give my thoughts at the beginning and then I just left the reaction in and They didn't really perform that well. They haven't changed some stuff But I'll leave that video for last and I've also got the crash 3 video the crash the um, insane trilogy review that's game put together, but you know, as as fancy as fancy said, like, oh my god, hi, oh, it's it's here, it's happening, it's uh, no release date next week, and as I said, I hear no Terry Crews, which is the first big disappointment, like all the way across the across the promotional stuff. We have heard Terry Crews' voice, and there's even that one promotion where it's like, I'm Terry Crews, I'm Doomfist, and me, I'm the shit. And then, it like, there's all the Overwatch clips where it's like, I hear Doomfist can level a skyscraper, and then you've got Terry Crews shouting like, I can totally level a skyscraper. So, there was some excitement for... At least Terry Crews being the voice. Now, he's not the voice, and maybe I'm gonna hold out hope. Maybe that's just a generic narrator. Maybe it's like, okay, you know, Arissa can't speak, can she? Arissa's like robot lady. And can you imagine when they announced Arissa, if Arissa was doing the entire thing, so she's got that echo and she's like, I. And I am Orisha, and in money, there is protection. I can't, I can't, like, add a robot effect right now. But you get the idea where it's like, 
I'm doing them then in his protection and I'm here to protect No, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to, to get away with that. So that's why they created um that little black girl that made it, Evie? Evie? I can't remember her name. But you know what I mean. You know, they created her in order to basically just be the narrator for Orissa where it's like you know, when I was a, when I was a, a child, my parents were killed in the Omnic Crisis, and when my parents were killed in the Omnic Crisis, the first thing I said was, "Man, I really think that Numbani needs protection." So I got one of the old robots, and then I rebuilt her, and this is my friend Arissa. She's a protect robot, and this is all the stuff that Arissa can do. Isn't Arissa wonderful? So yeah, they, they had her in order to basically narrate for Narissa. So I'm going to say and hope that this, um, that this narrator is just that he's just a narrator to to hide the fact that all of the voice lines are going to be done by terry cruz i mean it's more than likely not the case because triple a stupid and that's how that's how triple a is so good job guys yeah you, you took everybody's hopes and dreams of terry cruz and you kind of Threw them in the bin there again. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe there is, uh, maybe there is a good reason because they don't want the entire industry to flip their shit. That it's Terry Crews. Maybe there is a solid reason for for it, and it's the narrator. So I'm still gonna hold out a little bit of hope, but not that much. And as for like his design, I'll, I'll bring it up now on the side of your screen while. We're playing here, but as for his design, I I like it. You know, this is kind of what I expected. We expected a very muscular black man like Terry Crews. We expected a very muscular black man to be the main body model. Obviously, he would have the giant gauntlet on his left arm, as we saw. Like it was a left-handed gauntlet, which kind of is kind of a uh, Torchwood thing. That's the that's the thing about gauntlets, sir. What's that? They always come in pairs. So it does it does kind of make us wonder who has the other Doom Fist? Or is there if there's a Doom Fist which causes destruction, is there a, a life fist which causes um uh, the opposite of Doom? Reconstruction maybe. Cause gauntlets come in pairs. But yeah, the the design looks great. I like the fact that you've got a couple of elephant tusks and bones. To, to make the spikes. I should really be paying a little bit more attention. But I like the elephant tusks and all of the bones to create the spikes on his armor. And then just like kind of the shirtless look. So his design, they obviously did a good job at designing the character. And yeah, that works. That's all great. And I think everybody can be in agreement that the design is completely fine. And everybody's excited for the design. Now, as for the character himself, are people excited for the character? Eh, I mean, this is the this is the big problem with Doomfist. I have now just been, I have now just had people come back from the chip shop, so I'll be going in a minute because my dinner is nearly ready. But this is the, the problem with Doomfist, I feel. And it kind of comes from Orissa and how Orissa was, let's be fair, fair, fucking garbage for the most part. Because Doomfist was announced and then we had the thing in Numbani where all of the uh, OR-15s had been completely smashed to shit. So everybody had this these dreams of Doomfist in mind. Everybody was on this full Doomfist um, tirade. They're like, oh my god, Doomfist, here he is. Shit's, shit's smashed up, shit's broke, I can't wait to see Doomfist, you know, everybody's, everybody was pretty much losing it at the, at Doomfist, yet, when, when the moment came to announce Doomfist, all we got was Orissa, and, you know, Orissa is basically a, a mishmash tank, like, she's not even a, Okay, sorry about that. As I said, I am running out of recording space due to the Crash 3 review. I've tried to move some things around to get some extra recording space. But, 
And people are now streaming gameplay so we can check him out. Apparently he is live on the PTR. So we're going to have a look at him in a minute. But to finish off Arissa and the story. So yeah, it's like, oh, you know, Arissa's kind of shit. She's got 400 HP, which is one of the weakest tanks. And unlike Zarya, she ain't got shields that regenerates. So once you once you're done, you're done. And who the fuck is this robot goat lady thing? Like nobody gives a fuck about Arissa. We were waiting for Doomfist. We're waiting for Terry Crews, and you give us this fucking. We don't want this. Where's Doomfist? So Arissa was kind of like this very underwhelming reveal, and now as we've seen from the trailer, we get a big reveal of this absolute monster. That can take down, you know, can take a lot of damage from Genji and Tracer and Winston. And then just like one shots Tracer by pretty much ripping her cl chronal accelerator off her chest and killing her. Yes! I don't like Tracer. So, uh, but, going oh. in though. We can see well right there that apparently he only has 250 HP. Preaching. Yeah, like right so he is there, not a can, tank um, at all. This, uh, uh, I don't oh know God. anything and else about this, Doomfist so we're going to see, see what's going on with Doomfist. We uh, see that he has, uh, I guess this is the ultimate. You are dead. Not big yeah, surprise. so he jumps in the air and he drops down with a shockwave. And yeah, it seems cool. like the fist right. has a yeah. charging maneuver as the right click. You didn't even hit me. And two other Fix moves that I can't you. really see as the other okay, two buttons. Um, I can't tell what his normal Don't attack is. Punch him in the face. Is his normal attack just punching with his regular fist? Because you see, his, his, H, or his ammo is going down, but his Why ammo doesn't really thing? seem to uh, do anything. See how it reaches zero? Okay. And then it does nothing, it just comes no. back up. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what his... Um, what his actual ammo is draining think, from. So. It's good practice for Anderson. But yeah, That's this is this is what we've all been waiting for, guys. And okay. Go. You you underwhelmed Fast. now. You underwhelmed because you know even just seeing the fact that he's got 250 HP kind of oh, makes it kind of underwhelming. Like I imagined this big like, huge tank. Like, that could really take some like, punishment, and you as like, you can see, died in one hit there. Yes, you know, I was imagining this huge tank that could really take some punishment and go I mean, mad, but it, he's yes, 250 but HP. Like, he's gonna get wiped by so many different, even simple things. You know, Orion Heart Charge does 300, that's gonna kill him. Tracer Pulse Bomb, that's gonna kill him. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that makes him a, a vulnerable target, and especially being tank-sized, being this big man, like, he's going to be a huge, easy hitbox that's gonna go down instantly. Like, Reaper, the new buffed Reaper, is gonna fuck him up instantly. So this is uh, how the story ends. This is how our great Terry Crews saga ends. We wait for Terry Crews. Oh, and because he's playing, like the ultimate does have a shout, and it's not Terry Crews shouting the ultimate. But yeah, no emotes, no sprays. And this is this is how the the Terry Crews story ends. Yeah, it's no longer awesome. Terry Crews. Can you show the, the tank that can just level like buildings and wreck cities so, okay. is not actually a tank. He's just a 250 I, I HP bitch boy just, that's going to get killed by a lot of stuff. And uh, Maybe there's like, I don't know, it's kind of all underwhelming, really. Whoa. Like, <laughs> the decline oh, wow. started with Orissa when everybody just Dude, wanted Doomfist over Orissa. And now it turns out that Arissa may end up being better than Doomfist, because at least she's actually a tank. You know, she's got 400 HP and she's got shields and shit. She's actually a tank. A tank. Unlike this guy that's just kind of like a Falcon Punch motherfucker. And again, I don't know what that... Oh, it's the left hand! Okay. So the the ammo, he's shooting from the left hand. So only you can't even use 
the Doom Fist wow. forever. Wow. Like the Doom Fist only works when the cooldown is replenished, but the actual four ammo is oh. him punching with his left arm. Oh, so you can't even it's use the Doom Fist yeah, forever then. It's just him punching with his left arm. Yeah, the right is not like Genji's dash, uh, random, uh, or no, well, doge bot. As you can see, if I d hold up, there you go. Uh, I just go straight. It's kind of weird, but it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just accept it as it is. <laughs> at least, uh, at least the oh, fist is on a bit of a good cooldown now. You know, four seconds isn't too bad, but your regular is just punching with your with your left. You like memes? Okay. Me too. He's got a bit of a Winston jump I saw there. Get wrecked, son. But yeah. So I think I think that's all we need to see. I mean, I don't have the PTR. I'll try him when he comes out, but he looks quite underwhelming after all, after all the Terry Crews build up and all of the the stuff. Oh, and he's got an uppercut as his other move. Fine. What? They didn't kill anybody. Yeah, this is this is how the story ends in a kind of underwhelming, not even a bang because you don't do that much banging. Well, this is how the story ends without a bang, but a bit of a. Hey, we're almost at 2,000 likes. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. So, I'm gonna end it now, and I'll just say, what do you think of Doomfist? What was it worth it? Was it worth the wait? Was it worth the hype? Was it worth the lies of Terry Crews? What do you think of Doomfist? Uh, let me know down below. And now I will try and put that fucking crash review together because, yo, oh my god, aren't you all lucky you've had two videos today which haven't been the review? They've just been quick. Hey, we've uh, the industry's just thrown this shit out of here willy nilly. Oh, what's that? Overwatch? Oh! There's Doomfist for you. Hold on, I haven't put the crash review together. Oh no, here's the, the Splatoon 2 stuff. Wait, I haven't put stuff together. No, you got to have all of the information. So, it's just been a it's been a frantic rush today. It's been quite the quite the hectic day today. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. And um, as I say, I think uh, at the end of this story, it's come out as a bit underwhelming for. A 250 HP bitch boy, but maybe you maybe you're still excited for him. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're on the PTR right now. I, I don't have the PTR, but if you've got the PTR, then let me know. Let me know down below and tell me if he is worth the wait. If he is better than what this guy is making out. You know, it, it's the first day of him being released. The first hour of him being released. And people won't be that good with him, so I'm not going to blame it on the guy, Make but... From the from the trailer we got, where he was, like, taking down Tracer and Genji and Winston, like, tank, and then, like, you know, being this huge monster, and he's just come out as 250 HP, and it doesn't look like his attacks are really all that impactful, especially this left punch, which isn't doing that much, really. Uh, you gotta let me know if you're on the PTR. Let me know how he feels. Let me know how he plays. And, uh, of course, oh, was yeah, it yeah, worth yeah, it? Yeah. But for now, all thank right. you all for watching. All right. And uh, I'll see all of you in the Crash 3 review. I'm trying to get on PTR since 5.